214 Deverell Street. Used to be my brother's house. Used to be a great big old oak tree that sat in the yard. I cried over it once. My brother had it trimmed back. And I was worried about where the birds were going to go. Yeah, I lived there too. For about six or seven years. My brother had that fence built. Still a good fence, don't you think? Yep, 214 Deverell Street. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot about this old town that I just won't be able to tell. But I'm giving you a little glimpse of my life. That rock house over there with the awning on top. It's actually a two-family house. I lived there for about a year and a half. Yeah, I did. In the early 60s. My mom and sure. dad owned that house for a lot of years. My brothers, they grew up there. My mom and dad, they moved from there in March of 1956. When my mom first found out, she was expecting me. <laughs> 860 Oak Street. I lived here too. Between 1971 and 1978. Used to look a lot nicer then. This is the last house on Oak Street here in town. There's some historical houses across the street. Those have been there a very long time. This is where I went to school. Oh yeah. Ludlow High School. It looks a lot prettier than it used to also. But, in a lot of ways, it's still the same. It has another name. George Washington Memorial High School. But, everybody just calls it Ludlow High School. And there's the front door. Oh, yeah. You know, I went in and out of these doors a few times. I didn't normally like to do that. <laughs> I always went out the side door. This cornerstone marks the beginnings of this particular building. There was an older building here once that they had to tear down. And above it here, if I can get a really good look at it. Oh yes, there it is. The 1937 watermark. That's how far the flood went up. Oh yes. And as I turn the corner here, you see the rest of the street. And across the way over there where the subway is, used to be called the Dairy Cheer. It was an ice cream parlor that we all hung out at. Yes, we would stand there and just look around and talk. And here we have the corner. And as I turn here, you see across the way over there in the trees, that's Cincinnati. Yes, Elm Street. Very busy street to have a school on. 
very busy. Walking down the steps to the city park. Yep. I used to come down here quite a lot. This is a memorial for veterans. For those who have made the supreme sacrifice. All kinds of names on here. People that were from this little town. shining kind of bright right now. Not even sure how good a shot I'm getting. There's several walls with all kinds of names on them. All the people that served their country are from this little town. That used to be considered the clubhouse. <laughs> yes, it was. I can't get close enough for you all to see it that well, but the little plaque on the building says Albert S. Ludlow Memorial Playground, dedicated to his memory. He lived between 1844 and 1919. Here in this little benched in area here, picnic area, where I'm sitting now, there used to be a merry-go-round. Do y'all remember merry-go-rounds? About got my leg caught underneath one one time. Right here. Same one. About got it cut off. And right there. where that sandbox is. There's a pool under there, a swimming pool. And we used to come down here and go swimming. And they filled it in, put a slide there. And of course over there, beyond the fence, the baseball field. Yes, the baseball field. They call it Limker Park. Spent a lot of time down here too. It's actually a little bigger than it used to be. They made it bigger in the past years. You know, I think they've done a lot with this little park since I grew up down here. Made it a lot nicer. Peaches, local tomatoes, corn, veggie, Georgia melons, salads, flower sale, Reeves produce. 
Yeah, that's a little landmark all its own. They used to sell Christmas trees every year on this lot. And my dad would come up here on Christmas Eve and get the cheapest tree he could find. And my mom's friend, Virgie, she lived upstairs. Oh yeah. James Rigney Memorial Stadium. Yes. The home of the Ludlow Panthers. That, my dear friends, is the football field. And believe it or not, this old gal was a cheerleader. <laughs> yep, there he is. James Rigney. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The new track was added in July of 1980. The new track. They've always had a track. They just made it new. And yes, the colors are red and black. You know, when I was growing up, you couldn't just come in here anytime you wanted to. Now people can come down here and walk the track any time they want. But I had a friend of sorts that liked to sneak in the back gate down here and run around the track quite often. And here I am walking along this path that I never thought that I would ever walk on again. And that's the back gate. My friend used to live in that house, that beige looking house there in a distance. So she didn't have far to go to come over here and sneak in the back gate. Panthers. Oh yeah. Oh, when those Ludlow Panthers fall in line, we're gonna win that game another time for the dear old school we love so well. For the red and black, we'll yell and yell and yell. Will, I got it. All these names here are people that have donated money and had their names put in bricks along this little path. Kathy Delk. I know who she was. Ho ho! Bill Young, class of 62. Hmm. Yes. He was a teacher here too. Probably lots of other names here that I know. But, well, there's another one. Tom and Brenda Kramer. Brenda Kramer was my third grade teacher. Yes, she was. Somerset Hall. This is an historical site. Oh, yes. I'll stand here long enough for you all to read the plaque if you want to. But there it is. And yes, oh, they used to keep slaves in the basement of that place. I've been in there. Yes, I have, years ago. Funny. There was a time when I would walk that muddy path to go down to the river. <laughs> I'm not doing it now. And there's a lot of things about this old town that I'm not gonna talk about. 
a lot of people, a lot of things have happened since I graduated. I do know about them, but there's just not enough time to mention them all. Right here on this corner, there was a movie made in the 90s. Yeah. See if y'all recognize the corner. <laughs> yep. My hometown, Ludlow, Kentucky. Oh, yeah.